Patrick is currently assigned uh, San Diego Sex Crimes and Human Trafficking Division. And Defense Attorney Robert Schalk is with me here live. Wendy, uh, if they find this guy, is the charge attempt? Look, I know it's break and enter, and I know it's assault. If he put his hand over her mouth and nose and tried to strangle her, it could even be attempted murder. But is this an attempted rape? Exactly at what point would an attempted rape be an appropriate charge? Well, Ashley, what you look at is, as you mentioned, obviously it's a burglary, an intent to an entry with an intent to commit a felony. What kind of sexual assault crime did this man intend? Now, all we have is circumstantial evidence, whether it's penetration or rape or some other degree of sexual assault. That'll be something that when this gets to a prosecutor's office, they'll have to look at in light of all the surrounding circumstances. Now, it's interesting, Ashley, that you bring up burglary, because were it not for the circumstantial evidence we have thus far, remember, it could be. There are burglaries with intent to commit uh, some kind of a theft or other felony. What we have in this case, and boy, we live on video, which really helps the prosecuting agencies in cases like this. No What kidding. did somebody do when they get inside? In a case like so, this, he wasn't interested in her money, interested in her body instead. Yeah, Robert Schalk, how do you defend this guy? He's on video. You can see him plain as day, and then you have the evidence that's there. Right. This is a prosecutor's gold right here is right. the video that you just showed. But as she said, there's the question of what was the intent to do inside as the detective just told us uh, when you were questioning him earlier the fact that he says I'm here for sex that's a problem for the defense but obviously the question because when does the attempted rape begin was there no physical action that he took he was fully clothed the entire time he never pins her down it looks as if he's kind of walking around the room again these are mitigating factors that sure. you're gonna have to take to either the jury or the judge to either work on a plea bargain or if you're forced to try Man, the case convince that them looks, that he wasn't there that to guy do looks way too comfortable I'm telling you that is a dangerous guy and this is if we catch him if we catch him so folks in Fort Worth get a good look at that face if you think he looks the least bit familiar the tip line is there 817-469-TIPS when a pregnant woman